Hey YouTube, we got this 2011, 2010, Ford F-350, uh, 6.4 liter, uh, did an EGR delete on this thing a while ago, uh, came back in a few weeks ago, had this leaking coupler, um, wasn't it the up, up pipes, uh, actually this, this is off the passenger side up pipe to the EGR, so this applies to the original EGR, originally we, we, there was a, a block off plate right here. So we actually did this truck with the uh, with the cab on it. Um, what we ended up doing was just unbolting this this uh, 10 millimeter bolt right here. These two 10 millimeters and these bolt. This is right up behind the turbo, and then there's two 10 millimeters on the end of this thing. The block off plate for the EGR delete is the same size as this one. But in order to get this thing out without taking the cab off, we had to make two cuts in this thing. This one, this one. This is where your exhaust back pressure sensor goes. What we did is we ended up taking that block off plate, threading and tapping it, and putting the exhaust back pressure sensor back on there, which it almost lines up perfectly with right exactly where it has to be at. So underneath, we didn't have to do anything. Up on top, the only things that we had to remove were just the, the brake master cylinder there, which you know unplug the sensor from the bottom of it. Um, these two lines are they're, they're on a flex so this just pulls out and you could put it down you kind of see how tight this is in here what we did is we ended up wrapping that Sawzall wrapping that Sawzall down in here uh, watch out for this coolant hose here you don't want to accidentally puncture that and rupture that if we go I'll show you the front here take a look inside there you can see these these two spots right here this one and this one Let's see where my fingers are pointing there that's where the two top bolts go you can see right where that EGR block off plate is going to bolt to right there and then that'll run across so um, if your EGR Exhaust connection tube is leaking. You don't have to take the cab off to get to it if you do have an EGR delete kit, which I would highly recommend. Save you a boatload of time. And there you have it. Good luck on your project.